where I come from, you will see, was stuck with lupus. Now I'm free. Ask me how, I tell you, yoga. I thought it was over. Wait like a boulder, felt icy, colder. Then supernova, look at me now. I train the trainers that teach the teachers. Mastermind Yoga Trainer School, spread the reaches. From lupus to yoga trainer, I teach naturally inclined healers to train others for the mission to spread world peace through inner peace. Here's my story. My family has a history of illness and dis-ease. Literally all the women two generations before me, like my grandmothers, are obese, sick, and unfortunately stuck in their ways. I was terrified to experience the pain that my granny goes through every day, the aches and just not knowing. So on the day when I woke up and felt my whole body stiff and foreign like it wasn't mine, I freaked out. My joints were achy, my vision was blurred because even my pupils were swollen and inflamed. So when I put my feet on the floor and tried to walk, Pain shot up my legs like pins and needles, and I screamed out in pain so loud. Apparently, it was loud because my whole family came rushing to me. And when they saw me, they were looking confused, which scared the shit out of me even more. And in my head, I'm thinking, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why do my fingers look like sausages? When I looked in the mirror, I was shook. I blinked my eyes and I looked again, but the face I was seeing was not this face. It was not my face. It was a swollen, round, puffy face that looked nothing like me. That day, I started the journey of either pain or numbness. I was given the lupus diagnosis after like six months, and the doctor told me that it was forever. I would be on these pills forever, like all the different things that he said. and. At the time, I just believed it. And sometimes the pain was so bad that I couldn't even get out of bed. And I didn't know what yoga was at the time, but some days all I could do was scan my body. So I was doing yoga before I knew what yoga was. And I was just tired of taking the 800 milligrams of pain pills. So when I found my first formal yoga class, it was this hot class and my sis hooked me up. When I walked in the threshold, the sensation of pleasure like washed all over my body. <laughs> Instantly, I heard the sound in my head like, oh. Okay. I didn't know what yoga was, but I knew it was for me. And I started to experience the healing in the physical and the non-physical. I changed my lifestyle because yoga felt good and my blood work started changing. And then I started getting acupuncture regularly, so I fired my rheumatologist and a pharmacist. Now, it took a couple years, but I did. And my desires were to go and retrieve the healing through yoga, then become an expert so that my elders, who had forgotten the old ways that we used to have back in the days in our Indian, our indigenous lifestyle, but that I could give it to them so they could access it again. But then my grandma was just like, oh, you're doing yoga, that's nice, sweetie. And then change the subject to something else. But because the self-loathing, abusive, inflammation lifestyle that I lived wasn't only unique to me, my family lived that life, my clients lived that life, my teacher trainees and my colleagues had lived that life, it was with that as my inspiration that I dived into and began to love the yoga lifestyle so much that I found amazing teachers and trained all over the world. I mean, I went to Thailand and back on the passion of learning. Then I hit this invisible wall. I had been training, I had my 500 hour advanced teacher training certification, but no experience training. So when I reached out to work in different programs, they were like, yeah, you can come work for free and earn your chance to work with us. 
But I found myself being tired and stressed and overworked because at the time, I was teaching over 10 classes a week. I was facilitating training every quarter sometimes for free or for a minimum. And I had money, but I had terrible money management. So I always felt broke, even with the money coming in. It wasn't until I had the epiphany that my body was not going to let me be stressed out. That's when the pain and inflammation comes. So I knew I had to change my schedule from the hectic one that I had created trying to make it as a yoga teacher, make money, make, you know, whatever, insert the thing that I need to make. And I saw that when I shared with other teachers, more people got the message than I could ever give alone. It was an aha moment that I don't need to be everyone's teacher. I don't need to teach 100 classes. I don't need to teach all of these things and run myself into the ground. I got to impact thousands of people indirectly, but I still felt like that impact wasn't enough. I found myself training so much that I started to feel that cycle again, stressed and achy. But there still were people who don't know what yoga is, they don't know it's for them. They are people who are hurting from their own self-loathing and their abuse and all of these things. And since healed people heal people, I thought I need to train the trainers and teach them how to spot talent in naturally inclined healers and leaders and how to nurture that talent so that they can spread the message of world peace through inner peace. So my old plan was to become a trainer through the studio, teach the teachers who share with the people. My new plan is to retrieve the message of the yoga, the mission to spread world peace through inner peace, bring it to the yoga teachers who are ready to lead other teachers. The conflict here is there, there is a barrier to entry. Like I was told to wait, I was told no, I was hated on. I was told that you know it was gonna cost a million dollars. And I wanted the recognition as a leader. I wanted the time for myself, I wanted more money. And in 2020, I made 80K without even setting a financial goal, I know. But now I have a goal. And so I began to listen to my own message and my own lessons. I had to listen to my inner wisdom as a healer that I can't do it alone. So my strategy for you is that you take this. So think about your story. Think about what resonates with your life experiences and create your own origin story. So for your homework, include your desires, your challenges, your epiphanies, your achievements, and your transformation, physical and non-physical. Do this in two pages, double space, as a minimum, you can do more. And then look out for more videos about the Mastermind Yoga Trainer Program. Follow me and engage with me on IG. You can find me at Afro Yoga and at mastermind.yoga. As always, I'm so appreciative that you watch and that you are, you are a part of the mission to spread world peace through inner peace. Ashuk! Black yogis matter. We are changing the world one shirt at a time. Be a part of the movement, a part of the revolution, and get your shirt in the description below.